and welcome to this weekend tower love reading my name's Sophia so what I was getting was uh, well first of all watching so I don't know who's watching you mm, it could be the uh, I don't like to use the word the karmic but you know the karmic is watching or you know so your person's watching there's watching spying uh page of swords and also uh, i was getting divine timing temperance now most people don't like the divine timing or the patience the temperance card but they like to show off that i've got a divine connection and i connect with the divine i get downloads well deal with divine timing divine timing is simply that when something happens uh, <clears throat> this is how i see it when when use it this way advice <clears throat> excuse me when you have an off with your person or something like that and you're like bloody hell um uh, still not moving forward then take comfort in like oh maybe it's not time yet that's divine timing but actually i feel the divine timing is in play now um and things are actually moving i just getting that it's actually before you can see nothing or know or feel that anything's moving i feel now you're feeling it's divine timing let's see what the cards say right check out the facebook uh i post additional readings people in the uh in the mission post uh additional readings you get free programs advice we're doing a um if you've got a question um counseling like you want some advice a counseling question now um we're doing it it's uh, 30 quid now for 35 uh doing it for 30 quid right um so so pick someone in uh, on the counseling page on the website or in the facebook group all of um all of us who collaborate here in this community or in the facebook group so go to check out the reading see who you um resonate with and you know you connect with and then book them but, you know, if you want to go hardcore and really sort out your life, which you should because, you, you, you know, you're divine, right, then do the proper counselling. The, uh, the, um, the, the single question counselling, I can guarantee to answer your question. I can't guarantee to um, solve your life, let's just say. If you have sexual abuse and you go through the counselling, I guarantee I will transform that out of you. I guarantee it. If you're just answering a question, I can't guarantee that that question will solve your situation. But I guarantee to answer the question so you're happy. That's what I guarantee. Right? And everything is a money back because everyone's focused on money, right? So it's a money back guarantee. So let's jump in. Well, you know, I would have put out cards now. So if I'm chatting, then the cards ain't ready to come out. And that's what I'm saying is divine. When when you're shuffling, um, it's a to me, and it's longer. It's a specific specific cards they want to pull out. You see, so there it is. Ace of Cups, nice world. All right, what's going on here? mission people i think it was diane and andrea was talking about mr tim green grand protector <laughs> don't know if you followed me do you remember him <laughs> anyway ace of cups world card queen of pentacles <clears throat> divine timing for your man yes man or woman right to do this divine timing now for that this is coming in and there's, there's, yeah, you're being watched. If you're being watched, give them something worth watching. Not those stupid mouth poses with fake hearts around your face and blurred image. Give them something worth watching, mate. Transform. I'm like, yeah, if, uh, if karmics or ex-babies, mums or whoever jealous people are watching me, I'm like, yeah, look what I'm doing. I'm transforming people's lives. I'm creating programs. I'm collaborating. Working as a team. What are you doing? Working in a chip shop? You see what I mean? Give them something to watch. 
Ace of Cups to the universe. Okay, so what's going on with your person? Yeah, they know now <clears throat> that is about loving, mm, feeling love. Hold on, I'm just getting the answers. I'll oh, say, so, okay, so could be something to do with single. It doesn't mean that they have to be single, separated. How do I? For a successful relationship, it's about loving yourself and collaborating with your person, interdependence. And this is what this is. And I think that's what your person's recognizing. You see it as your person doesn't show interest in you, but it's not that they're interdependent neither. They're just maybe, I don't know, I call it scatterbrain, all over the place. And your de is code of, say your person is with a tradition and a third party and all these or other women or whatever, other men and something like that. That's not interdependence, that's fuckeries, right? I'm just going to put that out there. And, and there's you, codependent on your person to come to more towards you. This Ace of Cups is recognising about, because interdependence is kind of being single, but it's not. It's you fit like having your own life, but then, but I'm connected with someone. I'm not cheating. I'm happy. I'm moving forward with this person, but I've got my own shit. That's what I think your person is waking up to, which you should be waking up to as well. With the Ace of Cups here. Fulfilling their own needs instead of, doing fuckeries and going to everyone else and, and trying to please this person, that person, parents, religion, tradition, right? Uh, paying the mortgage for someone else and all these, pleasing all these other people. It's like, what do I want? And then, that, and that's what this is, Ace of Cups is. It's always, what do you want to do? What most people do, well, feminines, you that watch, what you do is, oh, well, oh, what I want to do is be a wife. So you look for someone to make you happy. And it's like, well, that's one thing, right? The Ace of Cups is the all-encompassing, all, right? All-encompassing. So what else? What else do you want to do? Then you're not codependent on your person. Like I said, with the divine timing, that's the problem. If you're sat at home scratching your bum, drinking beer, watching Jeremy Carl or whoever's on the telly, right, um, uh, then, yeah, of course, then you're going to be like, where's my person? But if you have a life, literally, that's why I say the people say the all seeing C and I and the life is a, is a triangle. It's not. It's a quadrant. It's a square. Mind, body, soul and living life. It's no point being a Buddha sitting cross-legged on the mountain but having no life. This is about what life do you want, Right? And you can say, not in this world, you will be happy having kids. No. Because you get, I remember uh, when I was, uh, I had a council property and I exchanged. I don't know if you know about that. But like you can exchange properties. I had a house and I didn't want the house because I'm never in the garden. And I went to a flat. And the girl who had the flat, she had two young kids. And I said, oh, this place is lovely and spotless. It was, wasn't lying. And she said, yeah, you know, I'm bored. I'm at home all day. I said, so you've got two little ones. She's like, yeah, but really, you know, you, they get up and, you know, you feed them. And then they watch Teletubbies. I don't know. Is that still one out there? Right. And she's like, and you just put their clothes in the washing machine and, you know, maybe drop one off to the nursery. She's like, you're bored all day. It's no life. It's not back in the cave, man, cave woman days. you got to evolve world card evolve right move on that's what this is ace of cups to the universe so you can do uh, a few things in your life and if you had other things you wouldn't be codependent on your person does that mean you don't love your person of course you do matt damon i know he's been married for a billion years I, I presume he's still married. I don't really know, I don't, but I do know he's married with loads of girls. I think he's got three girl children. 
And how many films has he done? He's away for uh, months at an end uh, in other countries. And, of course, the wife's at home with three young children. She can't go with him. But he's still doing his thing and uh, connected at home with his children, his wife. This is what this is about. Like I said, divine timing. People are hate patient card. The divine timing. Well, it's not here, but it's the same thing with this. It's like because you ain't got a life. You haven't got a life. And he's teaching the masculine, but it's next to the masculine and the feminine. Both of you. The universe is as within, so without. This is about inside world, though, because the emotions and the universe, the woman is inside the, the world. Right? It's about your inside world, the universe, the world card, because she's inside the circle. So this is about studying your insides, what you want, right? And if you don't know, simply remove all the negative from sexual abuse, abandonment, neglect, rubbish jobs, shitty friends. You are my best mate. Yeah, right. And all this kind of shit. Then you will find out what you want to do. Most people flap their gums. I want to do this. I want to do that. And don't actually try it. Do it. Queen of Pentacles, why is that here? Why is this different? It's two versions of self. I had that in missions reading, interesting. But um, this is about, or, or are you going to be stuck in your outdated graveyard, gravestone chair, right? Pretending you're enlightened here, right? With the enlightenment man, this card. And, uh, like, doing the bullshit spirituality and pretending you're happy. Like I said, the girl who was said with the two young children, she didn't say she was unhappy, but she just said she's bored, so all she does is clean. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, what can I say? <laughs> right? Queen of Pentacles. It's like, what, what are you going to do? Pretend that you, you're, you're doing this and, and doing that, and, you know, it's like you, you get bored. I have people who come in mission, which is very, it's not very hard to get in mission, but, you know, people will prefer to go to university, pay thousands of pounds to do a job that most people don't actually get. When they finish university, they go back to the, you know, bar job and, and jobs, right? Loads of people do that. But, you know, they prefer to do that than to pay for mission, which I transform your life, we do, correction, and then you transform others. You won't pay for that, though, no. But this is about what you do ain't doing nothing. That's why you're bored. People come into mission, and within two months, they think they're going to have loads of money, and that um, they're going to be transforming in all these people's lives. I'm like, it's a process. Always taking the quick fit. You know, how easy you can go down to the supermarket and buy a fucking crystal, right? You go on YouTube, anyone, and put in Reiki. There's always a Reiki expert, but there's never any customers saying they're doing Reiki, right? Yoga, you do YouTube yoga. You can do a video. How easy is that? To get this Ace of Cups, right, is the whole encompassing all, right? That's, that's just crumbs. That's just crumbs. Look, collaborating with a team of people who know their shit, who's wise. The reason why I can lodge it um, is, well, first of all, I love my age. <laughs> I love it because the older you get, you get wise. All these young people up there talking, talking and giving advice. I'm like, oh, my God, it makes me cringe. I'm like, look at you. You're 30 years old. You don't know nothing. But you think you're old. Nah. Well, wisdom comes with age. And that's what I love. I remember when I thought about doing a YouTube channel, probably 20 years ago, and I thought, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. What if someone asks me a question and I don't know the answer? There's no answer. There's no question I can't answer. I love that. Collaborate with people who know their shit. Who know their shit. That's what that is about. Then you'll get your ace of caps. If you're going to someone who's saying yoga transforms my life, I'm so happy. Are they? Uh, do they love where they're at? Do they? Um, are they happily married? 
Are they getting loads of money? Can they prove evidence of others that have done what they're saying they're doing that transforms their life? Right? That's all you got to do with this card. Go to the Facebook. You'll see five people in there who, who you can ask separately about what the programs and what... I can't even say what I do because although people think it's me it's not me it's us we're a team what we or oh, there it is what we all do for each other for your pentacles i simply is uh, the oldest one which is a bit more wiser <laughs> that's it right but we all build as a team two of pentacles underneath the world card is about uh yeah balancing out what you want in this universe instead of controlling it with what you perceive it to be this is about inner world i don't i don't know what else to say it's like it's like yeah okay go in what do you want my person say you want your person yes okay and what else that's what this reading is ace of cups is a fucking massive cup and what else else if not you'll be codependent on your person they're coming in with the offer that's what i feel and it's like make sure your inner world you're doing your stuff that's your inner world the lovers here so it's got some good hardcore cards here man the lovers balance and balance so let me go back to the two of pentacles what's that about Feeling balanced, I think. It's not I think. What is this? Feeling balanced. Yeah, she's holding the two or she's holding the two pentacles, one in both hands, right? And like I said, Matt Damon example, one world he's an actor, one world he's he's a dad, and then another he's a what he's a husband, you know, and what else does he do? I don't know, does he do gardening? Who knows? Right? It's like you can have many things balancing out loads of things in your life instead for just waiting for your person, your masculine. That's the two of pentacles. It's balancing out what she wants. People are successful who are rich, have several businesses. They do several things. This is what I've got a video about that in my money program. This is where poor people fell. They go and get a shop. With, and then they just have the one shop right i'm like no well you have loads of them and uh, uh, someone doesn't go and do an actor and do one movie they do loads of movies didn't they i have several businesses here we in mission we have several businesses you get an image reading you get tower reading you get counseling you get programs you get advice you get um, cards. You see, this is this is doing one thing, and then what you lot do is do one easy thing, and you do it because it probably doesn't work. I'll do yoga, meditation, certificate, certificate one, two, three, four thousand on Reiki, and doing that. But it's like you do it because you know what you're doing doesn't work. A rich mindset does it for multiple incomes. Most people wear the crystals not because, oh, well, this works and I'm getting money from the crystals and now I'm going to do Reiki because Reiki really works. No, just do it because it don't fucking work. This is this. The lovers is doing what you love to do. It's like your person's there, right? You feel your person. He's there. He's got your back. He's got you there, right? Let's go and do what else you want to do. This is you're going to be codependent on that and this is where it comes with the five of swords about being selfish because selfish is about self-love doing what you want how do you know you're doing because i have people who i say listen you go out with the girls you go out with the lads you go out drinking and they say they've got best friends i'm like oh gosh listen right um are you happy and what you do yeah i do photography i do uh art i do um 
that people, if you're doing art, photography, yoga, walking, looking at the stars, that's a hobby. I wouldn't even say that. I would say more slash boredom on being in your face, right? You're doing something just because. That is nowhere transforming you or this planet. So if you think you're doing something, but you're not fulfilled, Ace of Cups, right? Then you want your person to come and fulfill you. Your person's coming in and this will go back to the same cycle as the bullshit before. If you don't get your own focus on what you want to do. Other things. This planet is so vast of things you want to do. People, I say to my son all the time, if I go back to where we was brought up, Brentford, in tower blocks, I'm sure there's still people living there. And we actually, we, we joke and I say, shall we name who's still there? <laughs> and we say, oh, Mr Patel, he's still in the sweet shop. And we, say, we, we talk about the people who's still there. The fucking planet, all these countries, all this stuff to experience and people stay in one area. This is this reading. It's a vast universe. The very least, the very least, right? Focus on far more uh, of, the, of what you really want. That's the five of swords. Like I say, when people say they want to do stuff, I'm like, no. That's not doing stuff. That's just following a belief, a tradition, and boredom, really. Does it 100% fulfill you? Do you get up and feel compelled to do the job that you want to do? Do you feel like you're changing people's life? You feel different. You're a light worker, star seed. Andromeda, well, I very rarely sit, um, um, connect with Andromedans. I think I've just connected with two or three, which was pretty cool, but uh, they still went off into their ego but um andromeda palladians whatever you know lyrans all these kind of uh, uh, star seeds what you want to call yourself right and, and and you're doing what reiki soulmates can do reiki why do you if you talk to someone you go to a reiki course right i don't think you can, you can do it online right fuck's sake right you do a reiki course and you're talking to others and you ask them if they have any connection with star seeds, planets, Andromeda, all this kind of thing. They say, no, I just work in a chip shop, I'm cleaner, whatever, whatever, right? You're on the fucking wrong path. You're on the wrong path. You need to be collaborating with people who you feel connected with. See the enlightenment around, right? If anyone is doing something that you're doing that is not a light worker, then you're in the wrong thing, right? Oh, yeah, loads of light workers sell crystals, but so do soulmates who don't have the light around them, right? Don't mean we're better than them. No, no, no. Don't kid yourself. Without the soulmates, this planet wouldn't even be created for us to come and fix it up. All I'm saying is that if you are doing what others are doing that are named soulmates, mate, don't like the titles, but here, then, then you're not on your path. And then you will be codependent on your person when he comes round. This is about, that's why the Ace of Cups is like that. It's filling your cup and overflowing it, right, to then give to others. You fill your cup first. You People say that. You love what you want to do. Then it goes over to someone else, your person. You do what you want to do first, right? That's this uh, reading. Let's get out some other cards. So all my readings are about love. Does it mean, oh, yeah, here's your person. He's, he's coming with an emotional offer. This is how this life, this life, this planet is, this universe works. That's all I tell you. It's how this planet universe works, how you attract love. If you go on to Google and you put in J-Lo, you see all images with her with Ben Affleck now, right? <clears throat> but then you go on Netflix and you look at her halfway, right? I remember it because she's 50, I'm nearly 50. So halfway, right? That's the age, I presume. I don't know, right? And you never see that man. 
So your perception is, well, I want someone to be with me all the time, like the, the rich and famous, and they're so happy, and they do everything together. But when you see how much work she does, there's no chance she's with that guy. Hardly ever she with that guy, with how much work she does. She has her own life and still connected to someone. That's what this is about. I keep getting these. Coming together, coming to part. There's two contradictions with the balance here. It is. It's a contradiction of like I'm a light worker, but you you you're codependent on your person. That ain't a light worker. I'm gonna add this one. Well, I've had this one. New love, Ace of Cups, romance, <laughs> courtship. It, it, who, who done this? Courtship. My mum would say something like that. Anyway, anyway, right, <laughs> buddy romance. So yeah, something's coming in new, which I don't think that you feel that it is coming, but it is because, ah, that's why, because you think it's coming apart. Right? I keep getting these contradictions in the readings. And it's past life. Now, we know this. Why has this one come out? You have a connection with a person in the past life. Yep, I know that. Oh, okay. So what I'm getting with this is that don't do what the others do. The past, right? The past twin flames. Now, does that mean I'm dissing out all the other twin flames? No. Without those twin flames that are out there now, we would not know what a twin flame was. For example, there's a couple called Lee and Sherry. Now, without me watching them, I would never know what connection I had. Because I, I was like, what the fuck, this is a different connection and all this kind of, you know, the voodoo and all this kind of thing. I, you know, I call it voodoo, but anyway, right? All these feelings of weirdness and stuff like that. So... But it doesn't mean you do what they do. They that that they're the um the first they're not the first wave. What do I say? That previous past life generational twin flame contract is ended because they were here to simply say, "Oh, I connect with Lee and Sherry. I feel like what they say, and I had that drama and la 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 la." Right? This new wave is collaborating. Now, let's change this planet. Now, you're a light worker. Now, focus on love in yourself and how it flows over to others. Flowing over to others to collaborate to save the planet. You don't have this connection just to go onto YouTube to say I have this connection, to go onto YouTube to say I have this connection, here's my person, to then go onto YouTube. What is the purpose of that? Please tell me. Like I said, if you are doing what others are doing, like the twin flames, the only difference is they're talking about their connection, which is different. But then they talk about self-love. That is the same as what every other soulmate does. I do soulmate because we're all the same. Right? That's why I'm doing that. Soulmate, like we're, all the, we're, we're human beings. We're just beings on this planet, right? Our contracts, past life are different. Our contracts, let's just say, 5D. So don't follow what they do with their Reiki, acupuncture, crystals, la la la, la la la, la la la. No, this is about doing what the new way forward. Evolving the world card. World's always spinning. Moving with it. Stuck in the past. This is past life. So there could be a separation or you're thinking you're coming apart, but no. Not really. Like I said, initial energy, divine timing. <laughs> I get that. Why is that here? Mm. Oh, then. Uh, okay, so there's a twin flame and attraction, and you know, like attracts like which is the law of attraction, which is if you love yourself, you attract loving things and situations, but you can't just love yourself if you have negative with inside of you. And no one talks about that because this planet is energy, right? And it's dark and light energy. 
you know your light worker you know your energetic frequency is different right you know there's dark energy and that is with inside of you so you can't attract anything if you have dark energy and dark energy is sexual abuse abandonment that's why there is a law of transmutation transmutation of energy of the dark energy obviously right then you attract more loving situation that's what you need to do forgiving and learning this is um <clears throat> this is nearly i think this is what they're wrapping up right now with the masculines working on their life they're forgiving and learning you you got your spirit you're supposed to figure it out yourself I think Neptune is working out their, your person, forgiving and learning. Pay attention to the red flags. This is what I was looking at. Like I said, this is like, I've never really looked at this card. See this woman here, right? And this woman's offering her something. Look, I think, I presume. It's like careful. You just, you just, it's not even careful. But like I said, that's like someone, it's, or, or by this crystal, Put it on your third eye. You'll be woken up to alter versus of reality. It's like red flags. Oh, can you show me? Like I said, it's not even the money back guarantee that no one does. Right? I've got to put that clear. No one offers a money back guarantee. But more than that, can you show me someone, please, that they put that crystal on the third eye and they woke up to their Jesus moment and then, you know, the earth moved or whatever. Can you show me some kind of evidence of that, please? And not just a written statement that you can write on your website of a testimonial. They can simply say, oh, uh, uh, hi, my name is John. I, I, I booked Sophia and it was, this is what they do. And it was amazing. Book her. I could type that on my website. And you lot fall for it. Red flags. Right? Go to the Facebook and see physical people in there that are here collaborating. That's what this is about. All those twin flames with their offers of services. Right? Book me and I'll help you to get with your person. And then you can then help others to get with their person. I don't know one twin flame that's helped another because they would be saying, oh, blah, blah, helped me to get with this person. They always talk about their struggle, their life. They worked on themselves, never saying this person from this channel helped me to get with my person. That's what this is about, red flags. Separation. Like I said, there's a, um, there's a separation here uh, because you're not loving yourself. The first card is the Ace of Cups. When you learn that you must know about, and people say, I do love myself. Have you transmuted that negative? It's, it's simple. Oh, Sophia, what are you on about? Oh, this planet is energy, right? I mean, it's just, I've got to make it clear. This physical world isn't real. You should know that you're a light worker. This physicality is not real, right? This is energetic. An energetic field, right? The physical is a, a protection from your imagination, which is energy. And I've already said there's dark and light energy. The polarities on this planet, right? So, was you neglected, beaten as a child, any negative, right, remains unless you transmute it. If not, why would there be... Why would there be a law of transmutation if you didn't have to transmute it? Right? There wouldn't be that law. So, when you say you love yourself, have you used the law of transmutation of energy? Okay, Sophia, I'll go back to my childhood and I'll transfer it. But you don't know how to do it, do you? Why do you think we, we, we are here? I didn't know how to do it. Right? I'm not larger myself. I went to counselling to do it, to, to get, to transmute that fucker. Soon as I done that, boom, I started creating this business. Let's close it out with one of these. Is that both of them? 
I think it is both of you. Now, you would love to say, oh, no, this is my person. I think it's both of you. I made a mistake. That's what I'm asking. Is that both of them? And I want to fix it. But you've made a mistake. You've done Reiki certificate 4000, and uh, that's a mistake. It's a mistake. So you have to fix it. It's just different versions of the same thing. And that's, that's connected with this planet. You might say, oh, well, my, my person's over there uh, uh, treating on my ass with Sarah, Louise, uh, 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 all these other names, right? I don't know. Man, woman, right? 50 billion other women or men, right? They want to fix it. All I've done is done Reiki and acupuncture, Sophia. That's all the planet cares about, right? Are you in the wrong or the right? Are you dark or light? That's it. They don't care about specifics There's too much people on planet earth to think about specifics there's only two polarities dark or light and you know you know you buy a crystal pull it on your third eye or you get home you don't do fuck all and it's like you know that you have an inner knowing the world cards here so if you keep doing that you're dark so if your person's going out there cheating 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 right you've attracted that person because you're dark that's it that's the planet's law because it's energy it keep saying so stop listening stop being in the past life shit which is getting a crystal and doing some yoga and breathing in and go and ground yourself in mother nature no it's nice right i would love to but i wouldn't never go into the grass out anywhere near where you know where dogs are that just piss you see them they just piss there I'm not taking off my fucking shoes and walking in piss, thank you very much. No. Right? In the middle of a nice fields, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll go and ground myself there, which I'm not in. And that's not enough. If you've still got negative in you, you can sit in the middle of nowhere, cross-legged on a mountain like B Buddha, right? And then you go back to this chaos life. I never get that people go and anawaska and I don't know, you know, fire to Amazon jungle and take all these pills and they come back to this chaos life. I'm like, well, you've got to keep going back. Then you're going to be addicted to going back there. Obviously, the Amazon jungle, they live there. They, they're fine with doing it. You come back to here. Wake up. This is what this is. Face your reality. Anyway, so your person's coming in with this. Unless you're doing that, then this might happen. Speak to you later.